I hate this. <laughs> you hate these questions. I already know where that's going because everyone tells me. Right, right. I know. I'm like getting heated. <laughs> Hello, welcome to week 17, Woo. pomegranate week. Yes, we are a healthy fruit this week, <laughs> high in antioxidants. All right, how is Bryson doing? He's doing great. He makes me pee a lot. That's my new uh, nickname is she who pees a lot. It's, it's a long nickname. It is, but it's like every 30 minutes. Maybe self-given too. It is self-given. <laughs> but I just, I pee all the time. And the doctor told me, and me also, that I have to drink 100 ounces of water a day. 100! It's, it's not much. It's a lot of water. It's a lot. It's a lot. Especially when you're not used to drinking like uh, half of that. A uh, hundred ounces of water. That's, yeah. Just measure that and you'll see. It's a lot. But I'm doing it. All right. So do you know why I'm dressed like I am today? All fancy because you had important business meetings. And? And because I'm surprising you with some formal, informal questions. Jeez, yeah. oh, I feel like I should have mentally prepared myself for today. So, these have not been rehearsed. Great. Not have been reviewed. Let me think about this. Okay. And in fact, I don't think a lot of these questions, I don't think I've asked you. I think I know the answer for a lot of them. But, um, so, kind of rapid fire, but we'll kind of... Rapid dig. fire? It's not, Hi, you know, day. Okay. we're not going to spend too much time, but we will, we can dig into a little bit of... I'm ready for this. Hit me. Uh questions all right okay so this is joe schmo co-worker person at the grocery store asking you questions okay not me okay joe so schmo. i want your like real reaction this is because i'm sure you've probably gotten some of these questions okay so hit me are you pregnant yes okay what kind of question is that well you know <laughs> yes i am have you gotten that question yet? No. Okay. I've actually gotten the opposite of, you don't even look pregnant. All right. Was it a surprise? Um, yes and no. Yeah, well, it's always a surprise when you see the stick turn, you know, positive, but we were trying to get pregnant, so technically not a surprise. Can I touch your belly? <laughs> Oh, I hate that name. It's funny. I know, I know, I know. It's only week 17. And it's Maybe so cringeworthy. 10 weeks from now. Because people ask, for, might come. people ask for belly pics. And my mom constantly touches my stomach. Always. So, yeah. I, I know it's going to come. And I'm just going to feel like, fine, touch the belly. Whatever. If it brings you luck, go ahead. Rub the belly. Have you picked a name yet? Yes. But I'm not telling anyone. Technically, we already did. Uh, I've had the question asked to me too. I, Same. We yeah. both have had right. it. We're just telling you. Yeah. Are you sure it isn't twins? Yes. They checked. <laughs> they probed me. Would you be offended by that? Because they're like, you're kind of big. Yeah. You sure it I don't know. I, I don't. I don't. I don't want to be offended. Do you plan on breastfeeding? Oh my gosh! The great debate on breastfeeding. I am going to try everything I can to breastfeed. I hope I can. And if I can't, well, I'm not gonna, you know, freak out about it. Yeah, but it's, you want to breastfeed, so that's, yes. you know, but some people just- Don't want to. Even, they don't want to at all. Right. So, no, it's- No, I would like to breastfeed. There's pros, cons, you know, but mostly pros, I think. Yeah. And God willing, you'll be able to breastfeed. Hashtag team breastfeeding. Are you going to quit your job? No. Good. <laughs> you better sleep now because... Oh my gosh. I don't even like this. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> you hate these questions? I already know where that's going because everyone turning... tells me. Right, right. I know. Yeah. I'm like getting heated. 
<laughs> because, the temperature just went up like 10 degrees. Because I went how many weeks of no sleep in my first trimester? And everyone's like, you better get your sleep now. I'm like, I can't sleep. I even had a, we talked to the doctor right. about it. Cause I'm like, I don't sleep. I just have insomnia. And they're like, oh, it's gonna get better during your second trimester. Sleep now because you're not gonna sleep. And then finally someone gave me a real answer. They're like, I'm gonna be honest. The third trimester, you're not going to sleep, and then it just never comes back. Right. But this second trimester has been better, though. Better, but I wake up to pee. So I get a solid, like, five hours a night. Four to five hours. So that's good. Okay. Are you going to have a natural birth? I'm going to have whatever birth I'm able to have. I would like to have a natural birth. Remember, this is Joe from Publix Ask. I'm getting mad at Joe from Publix now. Like natural birth, like not a C-section, right? Is that the question? Yeah. I mean, I'm not against epidurals. Give me the drugs. Um, but if I can do natural birth, God willing, heck yeah. All right. Aren't you a little too old to have a baby? Oh, shut the front door. <laughs> I may be geriatric. I feel young at heart. So no, I'm not too old. No one's too old. You're gonna slap that person? If yeah. Okay, proceed, because I'm getting annoyed with Joe Schmo here. It's your body, your choice. You know you don't have to have that baby. Well, it's too late now, in my eyes. And, um, yeah, it is my choice. I, I'm having my baby, because I wanted to. I, I wanted to have this baby. It's a miracle in itself. This is a very controversial topic. But having a kid, I've learned, getting pregnant is seriously a miracle because everything is working against that sperm from getting to that egg, everything. My body is made to reject it. So the fact that we were able to get pregnant is a blessing and a miracle. Um, and I feel horrible for people that cannot get pregnant or go through multiple miscarriages because now I understand how challenging it can be to get pregnant so right yes and right. yeah I know that um obviously in in the majority of states um you have a choice um but I I do um I think we're obviously on the same page on this um if anybody is like you know, going through that, those emotions right now, um, I just highly suggest go to that first, make it to the first doctor's um, visit where they will let you hear the baby's heartbeat and um, see the baby growing inside before you make that choice. Um, I think uh, more often than not, you're gonna just be amazed um, by the baby's heartbeat inside you um, and, and uh, you know go from there but that's my recommendation um, so you're still pregnant oh my gosh it's because there's people that you just feel like you're pregnant forever and I just be like yeah it's nine months ten months technically so yeah I am still pregnant uh, you know you can you can drink while you're pregnant <sighs> that So that leads me to a lot of thoughts in my head right now because, and it goes back to that other question, it's my body, my choice, I can make the decision what I want to do during my pregnancy and anyone can do what they want to do during their pregnancy. If you want to eat cold cuts, if you want to drink wine, if you want to eat raw sushi, if you want to eat oysters, have at it. Maybe I'm a paranoid freak. But I don't want to put anything in my body, especially alcohol, because I know when I drink alcohol, the effects it has on me. So when I have two glasses of wine, I feel relaxed. Imagine the baby feeling relaxed, you know? You're already forcing that on a fetus. And as somebody who, before I wanted to be a lawyer, I wanted to be a doctor, and I rotated in the NICU, I saw a baby born addicted to heroin. 
And that was the scariest thing to see. The baby was crying, shaking consistently 24 hours a day. And you had to wean the baby off of heroin. The baby's already born addicted, right? So yeah, I keep getting the comment and I'm sorry, I'm just like going on because it happened today. I keep getting the comment of, it's totally fine to have a glass of wine. It's totally fine to drink, you know? What are your thoughts? So yeah, I, I agree. And uh, addiction is a huge issue. Um, and so obviously off the table is anything in excess of anything. First of all, no, no smoking. I think that's been proven. Not good. Uh, and I think, 100% of a, a doctors agree on, on that and, and any other type of, uh, of drug. And then, um, I mean, alcohol is a drug. And if, I, I, I think I would lean on, you know, ask your doctor. Um, but in general, I would say no, no drinking. But if you, if you absolutely just want to have a half a glass of wine or something like that once or twice a week, I don't think that would be. Uh, too much an issue or have caused too much concern but but of course uh, I'd be like ask your doctor first don't listen to to me who just said drink half a glass of wine but I would lean more towards have a half a glass but I think I really uh, appreciated that you're going you know you went cold, cold turkey, turkey as soon as you found out and so that's I, I just think it's it opens the door to being like, oh, okay, I feel fine. Let me have another glass. Oh, oh, I'll have a glass this day. And it just opens the door for more drinking. And I just, again, I, I keep going back to whatever I'm consuming, he's consuming. So if I feel relaxed, he's feeling relaxed. And so it kind of, yes, I'm geriatric and I'm paranoid about everything. So whatever. All right. So that's enough for the questions and um real quick we uh we'll have more don't worry we'll do another episode of questions that was fun so Maybe i should question him yeah we can do that too i'm not scared you gotta dress up though okay okay all right so and we did we did had a doctor's visit this past week we did and so show him a picture all pop right. it up here it here's bryson Four month appointment. What do they call this appointment? Check in? Yeah, I guess so. I'm very nervous. It's always a little nerve wracking to come to these things. You're nervous anytime you go to a doctor. I know, but you know, it's me, Jennifer, I'm carrying this baby. And so if anything goes wrong or something, it's on me. So I get no, nervous. No, it's not true. So. You just hear a lot of horror stories, a lot. Well, you gotta stay off the web. I know, the interweb. So yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you. <sighs>um because even the doctor said thank you she said to mark um for always being there because he has gone to every single doctor's appointment i've had um even the one which we didn't do a sonogram we just heard the heartbeat but it's always nice to have your support system there with you um and also in case you have any questions to ask questions that i may right. not remember so always come along tag along your significant right. other and i can correct her too when she says something wrong and call like me she out. drinks a lot of water. Yeah, you know, and call doesn't. me out for not drinking water. That's okay. The doctor had my pee, urine sample, and she was just like, no, you don't drink enough water. Yeah. So. All right. That's drink some more water. Right. Until next time. Week 18. We'll see you in week 18. Bye.